Hey guys, I'm about to show you my completed $20 Dollar Tree journal for the March 2024 challenge. All right, guys, I think you are in frame. About as good as it's going to get. So as you remember, I did my Dollar Tree $20 challenge. Look, crafting stuff. Mm, that's okay. <laughs> you won't get pretty nails here. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> So um, I remember I used the Crafters Square Horizontal Burlap Sack. So that's what my base is. I decided to do three hole punch. I changed the rings to smaller rings, but it's kind of hard to open pages now. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this journal. I might cannibalize it once this is all over with and said and done with. I do like the cover. Not so crazy of the pages I made. I think that I rushed it. It is what it is. I did the challenge, right? All right, this first page has a pocket. I still haven't put anything in it. I was going to make a big um, thing here, but I didn't get back to Dollar Tree to get anything. I still had like $3 I could have spent, but I'm not going to worry about it. This also has a little tuck spot where you could tuck a piece of paper. Um, let me grab paper. This came from Dollar Tree, the big coloring book. You could always tuck something in there. That might be too tall. You could always tuck a piece of paper in there. You could tuck a piece of lined paper in there so you can pull it out and journal on it. So, and then remember the butterfly, the stamping, uh, and a couple other things are not from Dollar Tree. But most everything else is. This is wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree. This is a paper pack from Dollar Tree. The, the what do you call it? Oh gosh. Shiny, uh, blah, 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 whatever, metallic. Some of these stickers are from Dollar Tree. The flower one, not the others. This is another part of that paper pack. Oh, my pocket just came off. Look at that. Didn't glue it very well. That's a pocket. This is a piece of um, plastic from the Dollar Tree packaging something came in. This is another piece of that bag from this front pocket here that I used. This is a Dollar Tree book of quotes and, and fun sayings and, and meaningful sayings. Dollar Tree stickers, Dollar Tree napkin, another piece from that quote book, uh, Dollar Tree notepad. Okay, this is just a piece of um, regular copy paper that I did some painting on, so it's not Dollar Tree. However, on the other side, this is from that book from Dollar Tree. Again, Dollar Tree scrap fabric, Dollar Tree embro embroidery threads, um, Dollar Tree notepad. I don't think this paper came from Dollar Tree. I don't think this paper came from Dollar Tree. Stamp did not come from Dollar Tree. This book came from Dollar Tree. It's a quilting book, so it has lots of nice pictures. I'm going to be using that book for a long time. I love that book. Definitely going to be using it a long time. Dollar Tree paper pack, Dollar Tree coloring book, Dollar Tree sticker, um, Dollar Tree clear packaging, Dollar Tree notepad, Dollar Tree paper, Dollar Tree uh, sticker, all Dollar Tree from here, even Dollar Tree fabric there to make a tab. I did love these cards. I might put them in a different journal. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be cannibalizing this journal and doing something different with it, making this like maybe a, a, another art journal like I did with my subway bag, which I still haven't finished filming the subway bag. I will do that. That's for another video. Anyway, most of this is all Dollar Tree except for the stamp. This is the scrap fabric from Dollar Tree, not the jean. You know the jeans was my jeans, old pair of jeans. This is from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is a page from the quilting book from Dollar Tree, as you can see. Got writing on the back. Another piece of Dollar Tree wallpaper. It's big. It's folded out. I just folded it in half. I peeled the peel and sticks um, part off of it and just stuck stuff to it. Now, some of these papers are from Dollar Tree. Some of them are papers from my stash. Some of them are um, coloring page from Dollar Tree. But I, when you peel the back of the wallpaper off, I just had this one whole blank sh and I didn't know what to do with it. I was going to just use half of it, but then I said I want to use it up. So I just stuck scraps. A bunch of scraps that I had, just scraps that I had laying around onto it. This is a Dollar Tree notepad. I just made a little tuck spot for a Dollar Tree um, coloring page. And then I just used a little circle thing to make paint circles on that piece of copy paper. Okay, the back of the Dollar Tree wallpaper has a little pocket with another coloring page. Here's the other half of that other Dollar Tree wallpaper. You saw this already with the Dollar Tree um I use the packaging that stuff came in as my cardboard base between two sheets of Dollar Tree notepad. And as you can see, here it is, Crafter Square. That's Dollar Tree's brand embroidery thread. This is the thread that I used um, when you saw threads in here. Except for this. This is um, string uh, thread from a thrift shop haul that I got that I just used to put behind there. So 
we'll put this this way. And these are the Dollar Tree stickers. I just covered the three punch holes with those Dollar Tree stickers. This is another Dollar Tree. Um, this is that notepad that I was talking about. This is what they look like. This is just a Dollar Tree um, piece of um, cardboard. And then I put it, cut the Dollar Tree coloring book, got Dollar Tree. Um, uh, no, this is the paper from the Dollar Tree. Sorry. Some of these circles are the Dollar Tree notepad summer paper I already had. This is what the to-do list page looks like. I usually cut it and use pieces of it. This is also what the full sheets look like from that pack that's from Dollar Tree. It comes in yellow, pink, and blue pages. I only had yellow and pink left over. I use the blue for something else. If you're watching and enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll know when the next video comes up. If you're already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. For those that want to support even further, check out my merch shop. That is my Dollar Tree completed 2024 $20 Dollar Tree journal challenge completed. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. It could end up being a giveaway. Could it be cannibalized? Could it be put away and never looked at again? I'm not sure. I just had fun doing the challenge. And now that I know a little bit better how to do junk and trash journals, I probably could have done this better if I weren't rushing and if I hadn't had so many other things going on in life during the middle of this challenge. Thank happened. Jessica over at the Paper Terrace for having this. I will link her channel below so that you can check out her videos. Thanks for watching today's video and don't forget, be good to yourself, be kind to others and whatever your journey, enjoy it.